Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp partner specializing in MailChimp training and consulting. In today's tutorial, I'm going to go through how, if you have an e-commerce store connected to MailChimp, how you can very quickly add a subscribe pop-up. In other words, someone will visit your store and a subscribe button, or, sorry, not button, modal or pop-up will appear asking the person to subscribe. It's incredibly simple to do if you've already connected your WooCommerce, PrestaShop, Magento, Shopify, and, and so on um, store with, with MailChimp. Let me take you to my screen. So first off, I'll, I'll just go across, and what I'm going to do in this is add the pop-up to this, what we call this, this uh, WooCommerce test store. Uh, fortunately, because it's already integrated with MailChimp, we don't actually need to add any code to the WooCommerce site at all. And I'll, I'll show you this. So let's go to MailChimp. So to create the pop-up that will show on that test store, all I need to do is viewing my audience, I click sign up forms. I'll just scroll down a little bit and you'll notice here the subscriber pop-up. I'm going to click subscriber pop-up because that's what I'm wanting to create. I can design, I can change various different things. Okay, so first of all, I could go into style, for example, change the font, change the colors, uh, and so on. I could go into layout, and this is self-explanatory. Where will image show? Do you want it showing on the right-hand side, on the left-hand side, above? Do you not want an image? And so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, easy enough, but I'll just leave that for now, but you can change it as you see fit. I'd go into settings, change the opacity, uh, when do you want it to display after five seconds, when a person scrolls, even when they intend to exit your page. So that's nice and easy. Now, just to let you know that once you've created your pop-up, you can always come in and change it again and, and save the changes. It's very simple to do. I'll come across to the main type of screen here. And generally you would add an image here, and this is because I selected that layout with the image at, top, at the top. Um, you would set your image here, or maybe even add your logo, that's up to you. But I'll click say, uh, sorry, set image. I'm taken to my content studio where I've added my files in MailChimp. You could add another file if you really want to. But let's say this is the image we want. I'm going to click on that, click insert, and there we go. Okay, so that's the image. now. If I want to, I can click on the subscribe to our newsletter, change the font as I see fit, even change the text, you know, um, get a 10% off coupon if you're going to enable, for example, a customer journey to automatically send a coupon when someone signs up. Um, if I click on email, the field email, that is mandatory on the form. Uh, the email field is mandatory in MailChimp. So it is required. You could change the label, however, and even add a description if you really want to. You can also click the plus button to add another field, such as first name. And if I click on that field, uh, you could make it required, add a description, change the label, and so on. And that's up to you. You could add more fields if you really want to. On the button, I'm going to click on the button. You can align it. Um, you can change the colors. You can even change the text, such as send or get my coupon or whatever. You can add a disclaimer if you want to. And this made with MailChimp, that, sorry, was under settings, which I, which I didn't show. And you can disable the show MailChimp badge and so on there if you really want to. So I've created my pop-up that will show. The success message is what does the person see once they've submitted their details or sent their details. So I'll click on success and the default is thanks for subscribing. But of course we could click in there and amend that. Your coupon's on the way, your promo code's on the way, whatever. Now I've designed my pop-up. I mentioned earlier on that I'm assuming that you have an e-commerce integration with MailChimp already. So Enabling it on our website is as simple as where it says your pop-up is currently disabled, click edit. You will then see your store name, or if you have more than one store connected, you'll see multiple stores, and you can choose which uh, store you want that, or, or, or all of them even, which store or stores you want that pop-up to appear. So if I now uh, click the that little on button there, I guess, um, it is now 
going to show on my e-commerce store, my WooCommerce test store, because it's already integrated with MailChimp. That's how simple it is. So now, if I click Save and Publish up the top, and just a few confirmations, and I click Save and Publish, now, when I visit my test site, my WooCommerce site, or when anyone does, they will see that pop up up here. Just keep in mind, however, that um, it is cookie based so that if someone uh, dismisses it, clicks the little cross in the corner, um, it won't show for them again. Um, so that's a common trap. What people do is when they test on their website, they'll submit to test um, and it doesn't show again or they click the cross up the top and it doesn't show to them again. That's because they've already seen it um, and dismissed it in some way. But that's how easy it is. If you already have an e-commerce store or another store, another way of connecting your website to MailChimp, how simple it is to very quickly add a pop-up. And at any time you can come in and change your text, your style, etc., and save your changes. But please like this video, uh, please subscribe to my channel, and I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au.